Hey guys, Kid Guru here. Today I got a video request and I'm trying to do a lot of videos or many videos as I can today just because, uh, well, actually, um, they're installing a new AC so I had to move my setup downstairs for a while in my room so I won't be able, you know, to be in my room for a while. But I had a lot of free time today, tonight I should say, and I thought I should do a couple tutorials and I want to do a video, uh, answer a video request because I haven't done these in a while. So send in your video requests, I'll be happy to get to them. And if you're watching this video now, uh, most likely I'll get to you as soon as I can. But anyhow, video request, uh, from AKG94. He asked, Hey dude, it's Peter here. I was just wondering if you can do a video on what about on what rendering procedures you go through to get a good quality video up onto YouTube. I got the notebook premium headset, it's great, but when I say sharp words like Peter, it makes a sound I can't explain it, but I don't like it. So yeah, can you show me how to get good quality with your mic, etc.? Thanks dude. If you don't do this video, I understand you're your busy guy. Cheers, AKG ninety four. Well AKG, um it's uh great to do a video requ uh answer a video request and you know uh, always a little faithful to the subscribers there. So anyhow, I want to first off say uh, rendering procedures on a good quality video. Now, uh, first off, if you're doing screen captures, I'll get to that first. Um, you're using Cam Studio or whatever. I would recommend Cam Studio as an open source one. Um, so let me show you here. Dimensions now. I'm using 40 by 360. I'd always recommend that because YouTube resizes videos now to that um, uh, size. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. Um, basically, it's DVD quality 40 by 360. It used to be 320 by 240, and that's animation quality. Um, you can still use that for you know uh, smaller things or you know, but for good quality, I like 480 by 360. Um, that's what I resize also my other videos too. So if you do a video with a camera, I would recommend sending that too because DVD quality now on YouTube looks really great, especially high quality as well. Um, if you're using camera, get good lighting, obviously. Uh, if you're using a Logitech camera, don't use the right light settings. Actually, set your own settings that matches your environment. So I would recommend that if you're using a Logitech camera like I do. Anyways, go into Options, Video Options. Make sure you have your keyframes set right to whatever you know uh, best works for you to get your audio and video in sync. Once you're uh, sync while you're talking in a uh, cam studio, you're screen capturing. Make sure you set obviously the quality to 100 and use the Divix codec. I'm gonna give a link to this in the video description. Basically, just download the codec. You don't need anything else, and check everything else, and make sure you don't install the Yahoo toolbar because that might become bundled with it. Um, so basically, the Divix codec is gonna make it really, really smaller your your file format, and also hit configure on this and set your bit rate to 256 kilobytes per second. That'll also help. Um, so just mess around with whatever frames you need to make your audio and video in good sync. Um, next, go over to uh, audio options for microphones. You're asking about your microphone. Now he bought the same microphone I I have uh, the Notebook Premium headset. He was asking me about it. Um, now the Peter, when you say P, that's a pop. Um, I was actually talking about this a couple days ago. Professional mics don't all of them don't have this what they call a pop filter. It's kind of like a soft light like material, basically. If you ever seen announcers or you know recorders recording studios, you've noticed like the little mount on top of it, and it has a little circle thing with a not a sock, a type of sockish material, like a see-through material. That's what they call the pop filter. So you don't get you when you when you talk on the microphone, you hear the pop, the pff, the the p sound. It makes a type of popping noise on the uh, mic. And if you notice, Peter, because you have the same headset as I do, if you look into it, you will actually notice in the microphone it has a sort of pop filter in it. Um, I would recommend talking a little, make the mic go away more so you can talk better and you can hear the P's and your pop better. But yeah, that's one tip. And also, um, oh yeah, sorry about that, but yeah. Let's uh, also set your recording format in Cam Studio to 22.5 kilohertz by stereo 16 bit. Um, I also recommend using a lame MP3 compressed format. It just makes your audio come out smaller and choose compressed format said it's lame. You have to download lame MP3. Uh, and you can also set 56 kilobits by 22,050 hertz stereo, 6 kilobytes per second, or 15, I say 6. It just makes your audio sound much, much better, more crisp, more clear, so your P's won't pop as much. Uh, like I said, also recommend uh, maybe either toning the volume down or setting the mic a little bit far back from your mouth so the pop doesn't sound as, you know, big. Now, rendering it out, if you have Vegas or any other ones, um, in Vegas I'll give you my suggestions. I just have a video here, and I hit render as. Now, Peter, I'm not sure if you're using Vegas here, but, um, yeah, let me just wait for this to open up. Uh, 
I use Windows Media Video 9. If you want really, really great quality, use API. But it's going to make your file size much, much bigger and take longer to render. But if you go over to Windows Media Video 9, that's a WMV, and instead of making a default template, make a custom template and name it YouTube. And I'm just going to open mine up here. Uh, so make sure your video rendering quality is best. Now, this is for the people in Vegas. So we'll go to audio, make sure that's CBR, Windows Media Audio 9.2, 64 kilobits per second. Again, that helps out with the pop filter. Head over to video, set the quality VBR, Windows Video Media Video 9. Set it to DVD quality if you have an animation type thing. Set it to animation, that's 320 by 240. Um, don't mess with anything else, but make sure you take the quality, drag it all the way up to 100. And keep the bitrate as is, index summary as is, or if you want to mix with that, go ahead. But yeah, so that, after you render it out, it's going to make it a great, great, great DVD quality video that, uh, what do you call that, will make it look great in terms of, you know, YouTube. That's just a video there, I'm just pausing and playing it, just to, so, you see, instead of, it's not really 320 by 240, now it's 640 by, I mean, th where is it here, let me just open up Cam Studio, 40 by 360 is the DVD quality, so, Again, I uh, hope that helps you out, Peter. Uh, if you have any more questions, go ahead and feel free to send them to me. And don't forget to check out the website at adrianstech.com. Any guys, any, oh, guys, and also uh, minor updates to the site as in TeamSpeak server. We also have some, ad, we have AdSense now, so yeah. Um, again, TeamSpeak server is really cool, so if you ever want to join, go ahead and do that. Just a little bit minor updates. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs>